What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedy back with another Dokkan battle video. So I'm sure a lot of you guys already saw this video coming and today we are going to be taking the new free to play Kid Tame and Trunks onto the legendary Goku event and just see what he can do. So here is the team real quick. We have a Vegeta's family team led of course by my LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and we also brought the physical Vegeta who is absolutely amazing on this event. And uh, next up is the STR Rage Trunks, who honestly I've never used on the Legendary Goku event, but I'm assuming he's going to be pretty good here as well. And I kind of wanted to just change things up a little bit, so I brought him. And we also have SSBE Vegeta and the Transforming Vegeta. And last but not least, we have a Rainbow LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta friend. Took me a while to find him, but... It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. So this is the team right there, guys. And items-wise, we brought the Whis, the Icarus, the Princess Snake, and also the Android 8. Pretty standard stuff. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what happens. Now, to be completely honest, I've actually never used this uh, unit <laughs> on any event before this video. So this is gonna be a first-time experience for all of us, I guess. That came out a little bit weird. Don't take it that way. Um, I'm just saying, this is the first time I'm using him, so it's going to be exciting to see what he's all about. Here we go. Um, he has... Ooh, okay, so he has six key at the mo No, he has seven key at the moment. But the good thing is, he actually um, supers at nine key. So even though his, key, uh, his links aren't awesome on this team, uh, he'll still be able to super quite often. And we gave him five orbs there, which means that he'll attack three times this turn and stack his attack... Uh, three times, also stack his defense too. Actually, in theory, you could attack up to you could attack up to four times this turn, because we have the two guaranteed additional normal attacks, and then we also have potentially the additional attack from the hidden potential system. There we go. There we go. Okay, so attacks that are already up to seven hundred thousand, not too shabby. Five hundred sixty-seven k crit. Um, he does gain seven percent chance to crit every single time he attacks. So after four attacks, it should be up to, what's the math, 28%. Yo, that, that took me way too long. That took me way too long. 28% chance to crit. And uh, he should also max out on his attack boost in, I'm going to say, like, two to three turns. So, yeah, he's awesome, guys. He is really, really freaking good. So I think I'm going to actually keep the trunks in rotation. He does stack defense at least for up to six turns, I believe. By 30%, so he's actually pretty good here. And uh, he also gets 40% damage reduction. He also gets tankier, and also it's harder the lower your HP goes. So yeah, for all those reasons and more, guys, he's actually gonna be really good here too. Watch, double digit damage right there. So yeah, glad I brought him as well. First time using him. Oh, okay, this super might do some damage though. Uh, not not that much. Okay, 10k. Totally fine. Totally fine. Alright, so uh, yeah guys, I mean if you're curious about whether or not the Halloween units are worth it, this is definitely a good video for you, I mean specifically for the Kid Saiyan Man, but before we go any further, I just want to tell you, like, it, it's, it's worth it, it it's 100% worth it, there's, there's no question to just how awesome these units are, and if you guys, okay, here's the thing, let me, let me before I go, keep talking, let me, let me just say one thing, um, and that is... Uh, what, what did I want to say again? <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh, um, what are you, what else are you going to do on Global right now if you're not farming the Kid Saiyan and the Candy Vegito and the Ghost Tanks? Like, I'm, I'm genuinely curious, honestly, because Global is so dry these days that I'm looking for things to do. So if you guys haven't had the chance to farm out these guys yet, then, then just do it, man. Like, what else are you going to do? Yo, we're getting so many attacks. We're getting another additional here. I mean, to be fair, he does have a level 40, he does have level 40 additional um, on his passive, or wait, no, level 20. Level 20 additional on his passive on his hidden potential system. Uh, my words are getting all jumbled up right now, I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah, he has level 20 additional in the hidden potential system, which I think is the best way to build him. So every single turn, he has a 40% chance to perform an additional attack from the hidden potential system, which is pretty freaking awesome. Okay. Um, let's give Trunks these orbs, and he just needs one. And I'm a little bit worried about the LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta at the end, to be honest, but... I mean, it's only the second stage, we should be fine. We should be fine. 
Um, yeah, global is mad dry right now. I mean, I've already talked about this before. Basically, global goes through these periods where we have these like really big hype celebrations, and then it just dies. Like we just run out of things to do. We do have the Fizz Broly EZA coming soon, but that's in a week. So we're pretty much gonna go through a very slow period for at least the next week or so. Um, we do have the, I guess we do have the LR. No, not LR, but the weekend banner, the weekend ticket banner, which I kind of think of as an LR banner because that's really the only thing I need, or those are the only things I need from that banner. The featured units are all kind of uh, trash for me. They're not trash units, they're just not good for me because they're already done, right? So yeah, we got that coming up, but other than that, man, it's, it's, it's been really, really dry these days. Okay, so let's do a quick update on the defense of the Kids Hey Man, which is at 113,000 already. Yeah, okay, pretty solid, pretty solid. And we gotta definitely stack up this uh, physical Vegeta 2 because he is not very tanky right now, so I'm worried about him up until we get him at least over like 150, 200k defense. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed my voice is kind of weird today. Um, I don't know, like my throat feels kind of weird, maybe I'm getting a little bit sick, maybe it's the season. I mean, I know a lot of people around me are sick right now, especially my girlfriend Taya. So I probably got it from her, to be honest. Okay, 1.6 million now from the physical Vegeta. He was essentially made for this event. He stacks attack and defense every single turn. Um, he gets extra boost against Goku as well. Oh my god. And I'm trying to compliment this guy and he's taking supers for 142k right now. <laughs> okay, he hasn't stacked up that high yet, but eventually he'll be over 200-300k. And uh, for the final stage, when you're fighting the UI, Go the MUI Goku, who's Int, this guy just tears through him, man. Like, he just completely destroys him. So that's what I'm looking forward to here. All right, um, we, we also need to make sure that this physical Vegeta, transforming Vegeta, gets stacked up too, because um, he's going to stop stacking defense when he transforms into Super Saiyan Blue. So, yeah, let's make sure he's good and... We should be good to go. Okay. Let's uh, hope if we get supered again that we don't take another 140 something K. I mean, I don't, I don't think we're gonna die anyways, but I don't, I don't want to use items this early because I feel like it's just, it's embarrassing, man. People expect more out of me. I, th I feel like people expect more out of me, and I try to tell people, yo, I'm not really like a Dokkan expert or anything like that. Like, yeah, I, I know some things about the game. I do my research and all that stuff, but. You know, I'm, I'm not someone that considers himself like a pro at this game or a Dokkan scholar, I guess, right? Now, there was some guy on my stream the other day there was, that was like, Yo, dude, like, for Candy Vegito, the great chance to dodge is, um, what, what was it? Uh, what's, what's the chance again? <laughs> oh, the great chance to dodge is actually 70%, right? Like, learn your, your Dokkan knowledge. I'm like... I'm sorry man, I, I'm not a Dokkan Scholar, like, I, I like this game, I play it a lot, I make videos about it, and I try to do my research before I, you know, talk about things, but I don't claim to know any everything, man, like, there's a lot of things about this game that I still am trying to figure out, so, just putting that out there, don't uh, expect too much from me as far as Dokkan knowledge goes, but getting back to this kid, man, we haven't been focusing too much on him, he is absolutely annihilating the event right now. A crit would have finished it, that's okay though, we have type disadvantage, but even with type disadvantage, we're still taking regular hits for double digit at the moment. This Vegeta's gonna finish it off, I think. Yes? There we go. Okay, next stage, things are going smoothly, things are going fast, a lot faster than before. I'm trying to get these videos, these, um, at least like regular team showcases on the Legendary Goku, Legendary Goku event to, um, around, I mean definitely under... Um, what am I trying to say? Definitely under like 30, 35 minutes because they've been going really long these days and I don't love... Well, one thing is I'm sure a lot of you guys don't love just like watching these super, super freaking long videos, right? But also, it's just a pain for me to edit them and process them and upload them because it takes so much longer with longer videos, right? So, yeah, I'm trying to get through this quickly, but we also got to be careful. Like, for example, when I was talking right there, I messed up and didn't get a super off with my LR Super Saiyan 4, so that was a mistake right there. But uh, we did get supered in the middle, so I don't think we're going to get supered at the end again. So we should be safe. There we go. Okay. Got the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Transformation. 
so he's not getting any more defense after this, which is a little bit unfortunate. But I think his defense should already be pretty high. Uh, 109k is not too bad. It's not it's not great. It could be better, but it's not bad. And the Kids Man's at 160k. The uh, physical Vegeta's at 64k. So let's get him to stack a little bit more here. Um, let's see. Can we get more orbs for Kids Man? I I wanna get him to attack a little bit more. Um, let's see, just the three orbs. Okay, three orbs is fine. Three orbs is fine. And we can super here with the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as well. Okay. Okay, oh, wow. Okay, let's hope we don't get supered in the first slot, because that's going to be bad. That's going to hurt. Oh, please. Oh, could you spare me? Okay. Oh, 38. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, up to a million attack now. With the Kids AMN. Getting crits left and right. He should have max crit now. And we're getting supered, but I don't think it's. Yeah, 51k? I can live with that. That's not bad. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Nine, almost a million additionals. So you can kind of consider. It's, it's actually funny they're both in the same rotation, but uh, you can kind of think about the Kids AMN as like a mini. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta because they, they have very similar mechanics, right? Except for the Kid Saiyan Man, he actually builds both attack and um, crit chance without any transformation, right? Whereas the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution builds defense first and then builds crit chance. Um, but then the Kid Saiyan Man also infinitely stacks defense. So for this event, I would actually argue that the Kid Saiyan Man is quite a bit better than the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, just for like the purpose of being like super tanky and also doing some damage, right? Okay, so so should we should we um, get this Vegeta to use those orbs? Is the question? I think so. I think so. We gotta respect him a little bit. Okay, here we go. I mean, he put in all that work, all that effort into changing those orbs. I can't take that away from him, man. It's just that would be that'd be too cruel. Cool. Okay. So, we are getting the token attack now. This is going to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, let's see. Let's try to let's try to get all seven here. Okay, one, two. Wow. The Dokkan's being nice today. Look at that. Got it. All seven. Let's see how much damage this full board of physical orbs and a Dokkan attack all combined. And perfect Dokkan attack, mind you, will do here. I wish they showed the attack stat. On Dokkan attacks, man. That's the only thing that bothers me about Dokkan attacks is like we can't see um, what the attacks that actually actually goes up to. We get to see the final damage. Yo, same thing with active skills too. With those super attack based active skills, can we get Bandai? Can we petition Bandai to actually show us what the attack stats at? Because I love seeing those numbers, man. Like that's that's a big part of why it's fun to use those units, right? So um yeah hopefully they do that in the future or at least give us the option to like toggle it on and off the the uh, attack like attack stat number before the damage actually is shown does that make sense am i making sense right now i don't really know but you know what i'm trying to say you know what i'm trying to say all right so kids man's 175k defense now i'm sure he'll tank these just fine so I'm not gonna be too worried about him in the beginning e even if we get supered i'm saying less than 100k and then, um, yeah, Physical Vegeta is, should be decently tanky now, actually, so I'm not too worried about him either. Only concerning unit on this rotation right now is the LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Yeah, look at that, double, oh my god, 17 damage against type disadvantage. Ah, oh, so good. So, so good. Okay. And there is my Vegeta building up some uh, attack as well. I think he's actually at max attack on his passive. So 2.5 mil. Not too bad. No crit there though. What is the physical Vegeta at? Physical Vegeta is at 190,000. Okay. And Trunks is at 41k again. Oh, I think he reset. Yeah, so he stacks defense up to 6 turns. But then after... Six turns, I think it resets. Yeah, okay, that's that's not so good. Um, <laughs> but he does still have 40% damage reduction. So maybe I should put him here. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. All right, 
Yo, guys, let me know in the comments down below how things are going for you on the global side right now. Um, what are you doing, man? What are you, what are you spending your stamina on? Because I'm trying to find ways to actually, like, aside from doing these showcases and stuff, I'm trying to just, like, find ways to spend my stamina. Um, I would, you know, grind, grind rank a little bit, but it's just... Like, there's no boost. Is there a boost? Maybe it's two times boost. Anyways, it's not a big enough boost to really justify it. Um, I've already gotten all the Kai's from the Dragon Ball story events. Of course, I already rainbowed all three and awakened all three of the free to play Halloween units. So I'm kind of like in limbo right now. Like, I'm not really sure what to do. So let me know in the comments down below. Give me some suggestions. Let me know what you're doing. And um, also, how your summons went. I'm curious about. You guys pulled the LR freeze up. Maybe you skipped it completely. I mean, if you listen to me, you watch that video where I like the should you summon video. Then hopefully you did skip it because I honestly think that is the best way to uh, handle that banner right there because it's just really not a great value for your stones, man. I I kind of regret like summoning myself. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I mean. Yeah, we can't super, but I think the right now at least the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta still makes more sense than putting physical Vegeta at the end since his defense is still not super high yet. Um, it should be fine. It should be fine. By the way, almost 200,000, almost 200,000 defense at this point for the Kid Saiyan man. His attack is maxing out at 1 million. I don't think it's gonna go any higher, but he is getting crits like a lot, like a lot of crits. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. See, this is why I told people, man, you don't have to give him a lot of crits in the hidden potential system. He already gives himself so much crit um, that it just makes more sense to go all additional. So you can get the additional stack on, stacking of defense every turn, potentially. Um, you could also go dodge with him, but I just don't think it's really necessary when he gets so tanky. You know what I mean? Like, at the end, like near the end of, the uh, of this run, he should be over 300,000, maybe even 400,000 defense. And at that point, he's going to be taking everything for like double digit anyway. So um, I would still prefer to give him a little bit more chance to crit as opposed to doing the dodge. But that obviously is completely up to you guys. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is not a great rotation. I'm going to put Trunks in the beginning there. So we can get these orbs for the physical transforming Vegeta. And then we can still super with Super Saiyan 4. Nice. Uh, okay, so so far we've recorded for 17 minutes and I think we're like about halfway through I mean obviously the last couple stages are gonna, are gonna take longer. We have three more stages to go So I think we're on mark for 30 minutes might take a little bit more maybe 35 But you might have noticed I am talking a lot less than I used to maybe maybe um, and that's just trying to trying to save time man like the first ever <laughs> No, not the first ever one, but the, the the second one I did with the Goku's family for Legendary Goku event. It took me like an hour, dude. And I was like, yo, never again. Never again. I can't have that, man. I can't be doing hour-long videos. Just because like it takes me so long to get them like processed and everything, man. So it's, it's more just a it's more of a selfish reason, to be honest. Alright, 222,000 defense already. Very nice. Very, very impressive. And uh, everyone else is pretty okay as well. Um, and the physical Vegeta is taking a little bit longer than I'd like to stack his defense, but he'll get there. He'll get there. Okay. We're getting supered. 92k? Okay, that's fine. That, that's totally fine. That is totally, totally fine. Yo, barely felt that, man. Barely felt that. You know what? We're, we're still below 50% HP, though. So, we felt that a little bit, but not not that much. <laughs> I do really love these additional supers, though. And his damage output is actually not not bad. Like, it's really not bad. When he crits, he's doing, you know, half a mil to a mil. And for a unit that is as, as defensive as him, too, I can't really say much about that. Like, I, I'm totally fine with that. Ooh, such a clean animation. I think I say that every single time, but I just I really like his super attack animation once he transforms. Um, probably my favorite or one of my favorite moments in Dragon Ball Super, the tournament of power arc at least. And yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Okay, um, I'm gonna put Trunks back here. 
And I think we should be okay. Uh, I mean, if, if we get supered, it could definitely hurt a little bit. But I don't think it's going to kill us. And that is the important thing. As long as an attack doesn't kill us, we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. Oh, going back to the topic, actually, of, uh, like, being bored on global and stuff, I think one thing that you could try in the future, if you guys haven't tried it yet, is just to, like, you know, stagger your playing a little bit more. So, one one reason why it's, like, it's, it, it gets so dry so quick, um, at least on the global side, is because most people, or a lot of people that I know, I mean, me personally, um, we'll just like completely farm everything as soon as it comes out, you know what I mean? So like, as soon as the event drops, I will use like stones and stuff, like replenish stamina, just so I can get everything done at once. And that's really not the best way to play these games. It's not the way that these games were intended to be played. And that's why it can get really dry really fast, because if you're doing everything on the first day, then for the next couple of days, you're gonna have nothing to do. And you know, obviously I do it for the content, like I do it because I'm streaming and stuff like that. But if you guys, you know, aren't content creators or anything like that, then, and, and you don't want to go through all these like super boring dry spells on Dokkan, it, it would make a lot more sense, to be completely honest, to actually um, take your time with some things, man. Like just like farm maybe one unit a day or farm, you know, part of an event. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of ideas to like, to, to fix the dry spell, but at the end of the day, it, it's it's Bandai's fault, really. They gotta give us uh, things with more replayability, I think. So, you know, something like adding a PvP mode would make a huge difference. Like, something you could play over and over again, you know, advance through the rankings and stuff like that. I don't really know how it would work. I haven't thought that deep into it, but there's gotta be some way to do PvP with Dokkan. There's gotta be so yo, we almost died, what? <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we're using our first item here. I never claimed, all right? I never claimed this was gonna be a no item run. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're using the item here. We're using the item here. Um, it's better to finish the run than to die, all right? That's, that's, that's my motto. That's my motto. I mean, it's not, it's not a great motto, but it's, it's worked for me so far for me so far but yeah i mean i think a pvp mode of some kind would be great and i don't want to hear anybody say world tournament in the comments all right because world tournament is not pvp even though technically you're playing against like real people in a sense because those are their actual teams um they're not actually you're not playing with them live right like it's it's all bots using people's actual teams um to to play with you but in a mode where you're actually playing with people in real time and it takes like some kind of strategy too because World Tournament takes like no strategy. You know what I mean? It's it's not like you really got a game plan for anything. Like you're literally bringing the same team over and over again. It's more more so just like a mindless, like mind numbing grind. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's I really hate it. <laughs> I really hate that mode right now. So yeah, World Tournament doesn't count, but some kind of actual real like PvP mode would be amazing, man. So um, maybe Bandai will do something like that in the future. Maybe not. We'll have to see. Um, I'm leaning more towards it never happening, but you, you never know, right? You never know. All right, so Kid Sandman should be very effective here. Got the type advantage. He's already built up his 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 crit chance to max. There we go, 839k. Um, but dodge normals, that's fine. Dodge normals, that's okay. And even this Vegeta is tanky enough at this point where we're not going to take a ton damage. And if he crits, he'll do good damage. If not, then obviously the type disadvantage is going to hurt a little bit. Okay. So we're at 24 minutes now. Doesn't look like we're going to hit the, the, or reach, no, we're going to reach the 30 minute mark. We're not going to be able to finish at the 30 minute mark though, but new goal, 35 minutes. I think we got this. Oh, yo, by the way, let me let me check the defense real quick. I think I missed it. It was pretty high before. Um, Kid Saiyan Man, 167k. Wait. You know what? I'm going to wait until he comes back on rotation to check. Yeah, I just forget what you saw. Forget what you saw. <laughs> All right. Trunks tanking pretty well. Um, does, he, does he get healing on his passive 2? I don't think so. 
I don't think he gets any healing. No, no healing. Okay. I just I just thought we healed up a, quite a bit. I was like, whoa, does he actually get any healing on his passive? Because it looked like he kind of healed us for like a couple, at least like 20, 30k, something like that. But it must just be because of his defense. Oh. Whoa. That was, that was some damage. Okay, that, 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 okay, that was quite a bit of damage, all right. Man, why'd you have to dodge that? Why'd you have to dodge that? Oh, such a tool, man. This man dodges, like, all the, the crazy super attacks, and then he'll just, like, let the normal attacks through or whatever. That's annoying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, interestingly enough, the liability on this team is most likely, you know, it, it is definitely the, um... LR Super Saiyan 4s, which is kind of counterintuitive because, at least to me, when I think of Vegeta, like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, I think of like tankiness, right? Um, maybe I shouldn't though, maybe I shouldn't, but back in the day, I remember like one of the best tanks in the game um, was LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, you know? But that, that was a long time ago, maybe I'm like just dating myself a little bit, dating, aging myself. Uh, what's the phrase? I'm making myself seem old, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, very nice. 828k once again. Getting those crits. No additional this time. But taking very little damage. Very little damage. Wait, what item did I just use? I just used an, I think I just used an item. I wasn't paying attention, honestly. So I'm not 100% sure what we used, but um, okay. That's fine. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. This physical Vegeta hasn't been like the greatest for us so far, but he is his main job is to take out the MUI at the end, and he's gonna do a great job at that. He's gonna be excellent, excellent at that. Okay, so Trunk last time, Trunks last time took a ton of damage, but I think we had not built up any defense yet at that point. Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust them again. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust them again. And oh, did I use a Princess Snake? He's the Princess Snake. So why don't we pop the Icarus? Just be safe. I don't. I don't expect us. Uh, like, I don't think we have to use like four damage reduction items for the last stage. So I think it's safe to use the Icarus here, and hopefully we can finish. Oh crap! I didn't realize we had a token attack coming. Damn that. that okay, that that was a bit of a waste. That was definitely a bit of a waste. My bad, my bad. And what? <laughs> what was that? What was that? How did? Yo, I, I swear I clicked them. I swear to... Yo, I swear I, I tapped them. They just didn't register. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm bad at that sometimes. I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. What was that? Okay, um, clearly not my day today. Clearly not my day today. That's okay. That's okay. That was crazy though, man. I, I was like, yo, I wasted the Dokkan attack by using Trunks, and then I further wasted it by missing five. Is it five of the, the nodes, man? That was, that was terrible. Although we did get a little bit of redemption from the counter with the Vegeta. That was nice. All right, Kitsane Man is now officially over 300,000 defense. Um, he is officially a brick wall that this UI Goku will not be able to break through, which is beautiful. Just watch, yo, super me right now. I dare, yo, I dare you, super me. Come on. Give me a crit, come on, give me a crit, 49%. Actually, more than 49%, because 49% from the, the potential system, no, um, from his passive, and then also an additional 12%, which are which are separate by the way, like they, they don't stack. It's not like you, you add the 12% to the 49% and he has a, you know, 61% chance to crit, but still like he has a bit higher chance to crit because of the passive too, right? Wait, was that... Wait, did I say passive? I meant hidden potential system. Was that the physical Vegeta that got supered? I think it was. I think it was, because there's no way Kid Sandman took that much damage. No way. 
absolutely no way. Um, I'm actually going to take Trunks out of rotation here. And uh, let's put this guy here. And that is good to go. Yes. Ooh, going to be a very high attack. High attack stat attack right there for the transforming Vegeta. Because we got so many freaking orbs for him. Although he might not get a chance to attack if this is... If this is it. Oh no! What did I tell you, man? What did I tell you? Letting all the normals through, and then we have a super that could have finished him, and this man decides to dodge. <sighs> wow. Almost 3 million attack on the transforming Vegeta right there. Okay. I see you. Could have been a crit. Alright, that, that crit would have been nice. But, nonetheless, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <sighs> Alright, Trunks, don't let me down. We're getting back-to-back -back supers, which means a 60% attack boost. Or at least 30% twice. And there we go. Now we're tanking nicely. Now we're tanking nicely. Beautiful. And we're going to finish it off here. This is uh, this is the final, yeah, final turn for this UI Goku before we get to the MUI. And then I think MUI is actually going to be pretty quick because this physical Vegeta here... And also the uh, physical Vegeta on the other rotation, the transforming Vegeta. They're both going to hit super, super freaking hard. <sighs> Unless this guy dodges everything. Unless he dodges everything. Alright. Give me a crit. <sighs> no crit, but okay. Alright, that's fine. 2.2 mil attack already at this point. I mean, it's been a while, but 2.2 mil from this physical Vegeta. Um... Defending quite well too. All right, defending quite well, and let's just finish it off here. Come on, give me a crit with the rainbowed LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Let's move on to the final stage. No crit, but it's still over 32 minutes at this point. Okay, I'm gonna say 40 minutes now. 40 minutes is the is the time limit for us here. All right, so definitely gonna be popping a Whis right here if for nothing else, but to ensure that the LR Super Saiyan 4 doesn't kill us, or doesn't die on us. Um, and, oh, definitely gonna put this guy here. Let's see, one, two, three. The most orbs you can give him is four. Not the greatest, but that's fine. And there we go. Yeah, LR Super Saiyan 4 is the only guy that's like really concerning for me right here. Oh, we're getting super in the first slot though. That's perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, let's see what this does. 10k? Okay. <laughs> okay, casual. 2.3 mil, and it's hitting. He's not dodging this one. Ooh, a million. Not as much damage as I remember him doing. Because I've used this guy multiple times on this event. Um, all right, that's fine. That's okay. It's going to be a little... It's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of time. Ooh. The SSB just did a million though. Hmm. Thinking for double digits. Awesome. <sighs> Alright. What well, we're in the end game now. We're we're almost there, guys. The Kids Hey Man Trunks. If you needed any convincing about his effectiveness and whether or not he was worth it, hopefully you you got it now. Hopefully you you've seen everything you need to see. 246k defense right now and it's only going up man it's 346k and counting 246k and counting and then later on i'm gonna pop the what was the item um the 108 get him to increase his defense by another 50 percent i want to see his defense at over a million to be honest i want to see it to be i, I want to see it at over a million i don't know if we can get there even with the, the item but it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. So, we'll see. We'll see. Give me a crit. Gallic Gun, Vegeta. Come on. No crit, but over a million damage once again. Like I said, guys, he hits really, really hard here. Um, even though it takes him a while to like get back up to, or get up to a respectable amount of defense. Um, after, you know, a couple, couple stages, he, he's very good, very, very effective on this event. Okay, 
Um, I think our Icarus is up, so let's pop a... Or our Whis is up, so let's pop a Whis Icarus this time. I almost said Wickerus. I was like, what? what is that? <laughs> what is a Wickerus? Uh, okay, so how many attacks is that in the middle? Is that five? One, two, three, four. Oh, I think it's four in the mid four in the beginning, four in the middle, and then also four at the... No, two at the end. So LR Super Saiyan 4 goes there. Let's actually pop his active skill. Get some nice damage. Some nice burst damage from that. Final shine attack. Come on. Ah, no crit once again. These guys just refuse to crit. They just, they, they don't like to crit apparently. All right. We're still okay. We're still okay. We're still on, on track. We're not going to finish in 40 minutes. Never mind, 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm just going to keep increasing it by five minute intervals until we actually finish. You guys, you guys already know. All right. 19k crit. Yo, we're well, not crit. Um, Super, 19k super. That's okay. That's okay. At least he's not dodging the physical transforming Vegeta's attacks. I like that. I like that. Give me additional. Hmm. Not getting additionals or crits today. This could be a crit. Yes. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. <sighs> I think after this, I'll probably do a showcase of the Candy Vegito on the event as well, and then probably the... Actually, I don't know about Ghost Tanks, man. Ghost Tanks does not stack defense like the other two guys do, so even though he could do... I'm sure he can be okay here, It's he's not the best choice, so... I'll see if I can pull it off with the Fusions team. But like fusions in it in it in and of itself is not great on this event, right? So, uh, <laughs> man, it it might not work out. It might not work out. I'm gonna try. I'll, I'll see if I can build a team that would work. But no promises, guys. Definitely no promises. All right, 362k defense right now. Let's use. What should we use? I don't know. Let's let's go with Android 8. I don't. I know we don't need to heal that much, but I want to see what his defense is at. 543k. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, we're not gonna get to a million. It's, it's just it's the event's not gonna be long enough for us to do that. But I'm I'm happy with that number right there. I'm happy we got over half a million with this completely free to play unit. Um, depending on how the the run goes, I'm sure if you you know get really unlucky or they like the Go UI Goku's dodge a lot of attacks, then you can probably get to a million at some point. But that's gonna take a lot of luck. Um, or, or if you're running, it depends on what team you're running, right? If you're running like a team, for example, like, yeah, I messed up the orbs right there. Uh, my bad. Um, if you're running a team that is, let's say, completely free to play or just like kind of low on damage output in general, and I've seen some runs that take like two hours, right? Because people try to do like all free to play teams, something like that. And in that case, I'm sure the defense numbers will get way crazier than what we're seeing here. But for the, oh, damn it, dude. Damn it, yo. I knew he was gonna dodge that. I saw the attack stat, I was like, that's gonna hit hard. Then after, I was like, there's no way he's gonna let this one hit. There's no way he's gonna dodge that 100%. And he did, of course. But, 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 but of course, when I'm using him, when he's on my team, and I'm on like Super Battle Road with the transformation, with a 70% chance to dodge, he doesn't dodge. I'm just saying, yo, UI Goku, the disrespect, man. The disrespect. Anyways, getting back to my topic at hand, I I don't remember what it was, <laughs> to be honest. I don't remember what I was talking about. Forget it, doesn't matter. Um, Alright. Wow, that's a lot of orbs I just gave this guy for no reason. Cool. Uh, what were we talking about? Yo, these videos go so long that I constantly forget, man. I'm just like, my mind's like all over the place. I'm like trying to trying to play the game, but also talk with you guys at the same time, and it's not the easiest thing. It's not the easiest thing. All right, doesn't matter. Well, if I remember, I remember. If I don't remember, then well, I'll talk about it some other time. There was something, though. There was like one thing that I remember I wanted to talk about in this video, but it's not coming to me, guys. It's not coming to me, and this video is almost over, so I'm probably not going to recall it before it ends. I'm gonna try my best. 
Still trying. Can't get it though. And I think SSPE might just finish it off for us here. If we get the crit, I think this is it. Oh, just a tiny sliver. I kind of want Trunks to not finish it here because I want to get one more attack from Saiyaman, but he does finish it. Okay, that's fine. Well guys, we finished it in 40 minutes and I think 13 seconds or something like that. And we'll, we'll, we'll see the exact... Actually no, I talked a little bit in the beginning of the video, so it should be under 40 minutes. Should be about a 30... be about a 39 minute... There we go, 39 minutes and 3 second run. Not too bad. Um, items used were 2 Icaruses, 1 Whis, 1 uh, Princess Snake, and 2 Android 8. And that's the team of course, as you guys saw in the beginning. So that's it guys, that is gonna do it. I wish I could add you dude, but no space. But thank you to that dude with the rainbow LR Super Saiyan 4 for helping me out with this run. And that is the little showcase right there of the Kid Saiyan Trunks. Nothing else to say guys, he's great, he's amazing. Definitely worth your orbs, give him as many additionals as possible to stack that defense because he already gives himself up to 49% chance to crit anyways, so giving him a ton of crit doesn't make sense. You could give him dodge, but I don't really think it's necessary, but that's up to you. So that is the unit right there, that is our legendary Goku event run. And as always guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely let me know. No, definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I gotta say for now, until the next video or the next stream. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.